who doesn't love pear stones or beads? Well, these pear-shaped beads are a gift from one of my friends and I'm going to make a very beautiful wire earring with what we need, wire of 26 gauge and also 20 gauge, chain nose pliers, flush cutter, and also round nose pliers. I have a smaller round nose pliers, but here I'm using the bigger one for making loops. Pick up 20 gauge wire and start making a loop with a bigger size of your round nose pliers or any pliers that you're using or even a mandrel. But the diameter for this 20 gauge wire should be around six millimeters. If you're using a conic round nose pliers like me, just change the direction and continue to making those loops together. Continue making this spring for about four rows or four loops just attached together. So I wrap it one another time and then cut it out with flush cutter at the very end. I mean, in front of where I had started. Maybe you need to put it onto round nose pliers again and fix it out. And this would be the first structure that we need. And we're going to make three of that. The fact is the technique is so easy, but we need to pay much attention. Pick up one of those springs and open it up a little so that you could enter the second spring in. So I insert the other spring into the one that I had made a little loose and continue rotating that sprawl so that every row would be enter to the other one. So I continue that till the end and the last loop of that spring. You could even do that with round nose pliers or just with your fingers, but it's easier for me to do that with chain nose pliers and I continue till the end. And now two of those springs are totally into each other and at last, I'm going to fix it a little with chain nose pliers and to squeeze it. Now pick up the last spring, make it a little opened, and then again, insert it into one of those springs. And this is step no matter which one. And here we have all those three into each other. Now this is the important step. We are going to make those two springs that are inside one into each other. So I'm going to open one of them and then insert it into the other one, just like this. Just pay attention. This is the first loop of one of those springs that is going to be into the other one and I'm going to rotate it step by step whenever it's needed. I'm using my fingers and wherever it's easier. I'm using my tools here, chain nose pliers and then I see that it's easier to use round nose pliers and again round it continuously so that every one of those loops go into the other one. Just the point again is to pay attention so that any loop would be inside the other one. You may lose one of them and it would be outside the ring then 
when it's done, squeeze it again and check the form and shape. And this is our first wire ring bowl. That is the dominant decorative part of our wire earrings. And we need, of course, two of that bowl. Now pick up your pierced stone or bead and also 20 gauge wire and make a very little loop with round nose pliers and make 90 degree bend and if needed make it all straight with chain nose pliers. Now put your stone and leave about one centimeters extra and cut it out. Then put your stone or bead in and at the other side again make a very very little loop with round nose pliers. So make it rounded with one of your hands and then make a reverse bend just like this at the ending point to have a 90 degree bend and of course an eye pin. To put both loops in one surface just pick one of those with one of your tools and keep the other one with your other tool and rotate it to be just in one surface and without any angle with each other. Now we need the thinner wire of about 26 gauge and just put it at one side of this structure and leave about something around 10 or 15 centimeters and then make a wrapping part all around the main structure and squeeze it well to be attached tight here. Now move the stone or bead just attached to this wrapping part and wrap the thinner wire around the main structure at the other side again and I'm going to continue that for the above and this time the thinner wire would be beneath and I'm going to rotate it back again at the bottom and make another weaving part wrap it all around the side of the stone and again make a wrapping part at the start point and here I need to use my round nose pliers because this wire is a little too short and at the end if it's needed just cut it out with a flush cutter at the very end and if not, just squeeze it with chain nose pliers after every time that you cut any wire and wherever that you have sharp points. Finally, we have pairs of those balls, stones, earring hooks, and four jump rings. Pick up one of those jump rings and insert it into two of those springs above and insert the hook and close it and don't forget to squeeze the jump ring and to check out so that the start and ending point would be just in front of each other and there wouldn't be any open spaces in between. Okay now pick up the second jump ring and this time insert it into both springs at the bottom and insert this time the bead or stone in and then close it and this would be our very beautiful wire earring i just love it and enjoy while using this very beautiful wire earring and i hope you make one 
and enjoy so much. Take care.